I am here to do some good old-fashioned slut shaming. Yeah! yeah! Hi, welcome back to Katie Can't Read, and today I'm doing a silly little vlog because I heard I'm in a new space, by the way. I think by the time this vlog is posted, maybe it will not be the first video in this new space. But if it is, I don't even know anymore, then um, this is my new place in New York City. Um, sorry there aren't any bookshelves. Um, I only brought three books with me. Anyway, um, this is a temporary little living space, a little home, one might say and I want to decorate it in ways that are temporary and, you know, not expensive. So I had this idea, this vision that I got from TikTok and also from Pinterest and just in general. Um, I'm gonna make a book page wall and that, it's gonna be here. Doop. And that's gonna be our new set for Katie Can't Read. And that's why we didn't post last week because I didn't have a good set and I didn't like what I was sitting with and so we're building a book page wall this weekend. So phase one is tonight. I finally got my quarantine lifted because I tested negative for not having coronavirus and so I can go out in public. So we're going to go to a couple thrift stores and we're going to see if I can find a book that I already love that I can get for less than like five dollars. So I'm looking for books that are like ones that I actually have sentimental value for, something like The Lightning Thief, The Hunger Games, something along those lines that I can just completely destroy and cover a wall with. And it's gonna be so fun. So tonight we're doing phase one. We're gonna go to a couple Goodwills. Um, we're also gonna hit some other locations. We're gonna go to the Barnes and Noble nearby because my friend said, let's go. And I said, you're speaking my love language. And yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. Um, We'll probably build the wall tomorrow though, like if this, if we find a book, I probably won't build it tonight because I have another class at nine and then I'll want to go to bed. So it'll probably get built tomorrow or Saturday, but it will be post, like this will all be good. This will all be good. Okay. Let's go on a little quest, shall we? A little mission, a little quest. I have my little Mickey Mouse mask, my Mick mask, and we're going to go on a little quest. A hoo hoo. So, um, it's night one and we low-key failed. Um, <laughs> we didn't end up making it to Goodwill. We ended up going to, um, Barnes and Noble because taste and, um, Five Below and I got some things that I needed for my room. But like beyond that, um, I will be going tomorrow to look for a book. I'll still insert all of the vlog clips I took while I was at the Barnes and Noble. But um, yeah, I'll go tomorrow and I'll take you with me and it'll be a grand old time. Okay, so I totally forgot to do like a before I left clip because I <laughs> I was in such a little time crunch between classes that I was like hmm I have two hours I could make it to the goodwill and back so I did um but I forgot to tell you vlog that I was doing that so anyway I did it as you saw in those little b-roll clips of me meandering through New York City riding the subway and stuff um yeah um the book section at my the book oh, it's hot hot today and I'm a little sticky and I just turned my air conditioner on so maybe it'll be okay <sighs> maybe it'll be okay anyway at the Goodwill there was a pretty good book section but I was looking for like specific sort of thing um I was looking for a book that I had already read and that I could you know feel proud of destroying and putting it on a wall Maybe something that I had sentimental value for. Maybe something I don't. I was open-minded, but I really wanted a book I had already read. I didn't want to deal with, like, the idea of having a book I've never read on my walls. Like, that's just not my vibe. 
I was lucky, my friends. I was lucky. Not only did I find a book that I've already read and kind of like, it kind of matches the energy of the life I'm living right now. So I'm living in New York until the summertime, mid-June. That's about three months. And I found What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. And I got it for 99 cents. And I've already read this. I, I enjoyed it. I gave it like three and a half stars when I did read this. Um, and I thought that just like the story matched really well with like what's going on in my life. Minus the like romance aspect of it all. But like in general, the being back in New York, the sights, the wonder of it all. Yes, so thank you, uh, Becky Albertelli and Adam Silvera, for writing a book that kind of matches my life, and then thank you to the person who read this, didn't like it enough that it ended up in a Goodwill for 99 cents, because this book is about to get a I also did what I was not supposed to do. I bought a book that I haven't read that I want to read for $2, even though you're on a book buying ban, Katie. You cannot buy books to read in physical you can only buy ebooks but I did it anyway because I have no impulse control but it was two dollars so honestly too if I hate it I won't have any like remorse for it I will just thrift it back I'll pass it along and that's the starless sea by Erin Morgenstern a lot of people love Erin Morgenstern's writing I have never read a book of hers but I've been interested so this is the one I grabbed because it was there. It was $2 and I have terrible impulse control. A hardcover that's in pretty nice condition for $2. And it'll be a good, it'll be a good read for while I'm in this city. So yeah, I don't know if I told you guys earlier that there's going to be trigger warning for me. I will be destroying this. I don't know if I'll be doing it tonight because I have classes till 10 PM. And if you know me, if you're one of my friends, if you're someone who's ever met me, you know that I'm a bit of a granny. I go to bed at like 9.30 and um, I wake up at about 6 because I'm a morning person. Um, I'm probably the only person on uh, booktube but that's a morning person. Most readers are night owls. I am not. Um, <laughs> terrible at staying up late. So I don't know if I'll destroy this tonight or I'll destroy it tomorrow. Tomorrow I have some plans. So I might do it Sunday morning. I don't know. This weekend, this book is getting destroyed and put up on that wall. Would you like to see the wall that I will be putting it on as our before? May I mean, you'll get another before, but like, yeah. This is in such a good condition. I love that I'm going to just rip this apart. I, I read this book in like 24 hours. <laughs> Less, like four, one sitting. Okay, I'll show you the wall. Okay, so this is like where I've been reading lately because look at that window. Hi, Jim. That's Jim. Um, I named him. He's an iguana and I named him. Anyway, this is where I've been reading. It's very comfy and nice. And I'm currently reading Crooked Kingdom. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, I will have finished it. I will definitely have finished it because this live show Sunday night. Anyway, I have this big expansive wall and I think I'll film around here somewhere. So I'm going to destroy What If It's Us and cover this little wall and maybe up above in pages. And it's going to be fun and beautiful and brilliant and we're gonna love it. So that's all for this update. I will see you guys when I see you next, when we are What if it's us? Hi friends, it is Saturday night. Um, I am going to eat this, this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Why are you eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich when you're 20 years old? It's called, I don't know how to make anything. So, <laughs> um, I'm gonna eat this sandwich for dinner. And then I am going to take my knife and cut every page out of this book. And then I'm gonna have a little time lapsey business of me putting this up. Do I need to be reading Crooked Kingdom right now because I still have 200 pages left? Absolutely. Absolutely, that's what I should be doing. But I'm doing this instead. <laughs> um. Yep, I'm gonna eat dinner. I'm gonna finish Miss Miss Jess at Verity Books' video. Love her. Love of my life right there. And then I'm gonna get started. Um, yeah, that's all. That's all for this little checkup. I'll talk to you 
Oh, maybe before I start, maybe while I'm cutting out pages. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, <laughs> we're playing this by ear. Okay, so let's run through my supplies. Number one, 99 cent copy of What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. Don't tell them I'm about to do this. Number two, this little knife I have that's really sharp and I use it to cut my pizza. But now I'm gonna use it to cut this book open. Number three, white duct tape. And number four, scissors to cut the white duct tape. And then you're thinking, why don't you just use the scissors on the book? Because I don't want to go through each couple pages and do this and can only cut like three pages at a time. I'd rather just like stab, drag. You know what I mean? Like that's definitely more my vibe. So should we... Let's do it. Okay, ready guys? <gasps> stab. Come with me to the floor, my friends. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, now we're on the floor. Maybe if I cut the cover off first. Don't do this at home. Haha. -ha. Okay, okay, okay. Haha, <laughs> you wanna know what we're gonna do? Oh, this is gonna be really bad, isn't it? Cracking the spine, baby. Cracking the spine. <gasps> Maybe if I just. <gasps> oh my gosh, Booktube's gonna kill me. Let's move the pile this way. so soothing oh my gosh this is the best thing ever i should have bought a book like that i hated they had again but better there by christine Riccio, and i was like oh if i didn't hate that book so much that i never wanted to see it again then i would have done this to it this is beautiful this is like oh my gosh this is like why is this so soothing and fun for me i literally can't even tell you why this is fun for me I'm just like having a blast ripping these pages out. <clears throat> okay, I ripped out like nine chapters. Um, that's a good starting place. I have a whole lot of book left, so I can destroy more. Now I gotta move my chair, move my curtains, and start going. I'm so excited! Okay, so I got all of those pages up. And I kinda like, I only have like two or three left and then two that I ruined, oops. But for the most part, I think that's like enough, don't we think? Hold on, let's try it. Hi, welcome back to Katie Can Read. I'm Katie, I can read. That, I like it, I like it. What do we, what do we think? I like it. I think it's the perfect like height up. Actually, it couldn't go any higher, I'm too short. But, um, it's good. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna tape down, like, with clear tape, the flyaways. Um, but yeah, that's the gist. Highly recommend. It didn't even take me all that long. But I really only cover, like, a short amount. Like, when people do it on TikTok or whatever and they do, like, a whole wall, it takes a lot longer. But I just did, like, a half of a wall 
and it turned out really well and I'm gonna actually like keep the trashed half of a book so that way if I do want to do it on another wall like I have more wall over there that I have I can do it another time but I think for the time being this is cool this is good this is dope um very into it this is gonna be our new filming location while we are in New York City um yeah I'm gonna tape it down maybe I'll time lapse that a little bit for y'all and then we're gonna wrap this up and then it'll go up on Tuesday I know, right? I'm sorry that I left you hanging for a week. I had to readjust, you know? It's just, I had to readjust. Okay, let me get some tape. Okay, so I put on my blue light glasses because I was trying to edit a little bit and I forgot to time-lapse taping, sorry. Um, what did I do instead of uh, time-lapsing taping? I bought Raven Cycle socks online. YOLO, you know, sometimes you're bad with money. Um, and by all, sometimes I mean all the time. I'm gonna enjoy this wall here and um, finish Crooked Kingdom and then do the live show tomorrow and have a grand old time. And yeah, so that's all. I kinda wanna get some art prints to put on here as well. Um, so if you know any like bomb place to get art prints for like, not expensive please, um, it may, like, like a fair price, um, comment below your favorite places to buy art prints of book characters for this here wall or if someone wants to like make some cool some cool Katie can't read art that would also be a cool little thing to put behind my little face um yeah let's see what else thank you so much for watching please like subscribe turn on the notification bell if you like this kind of garbage um I have, I sat down the other day and planned out like all of my videos I'm going to do while I'm here. So I'm very excited for quite a few of them. Um, so you've got some stuff to look forward to if you would like to um, stay up to date with this Katie Can't Read business. Um, yeah, comment below your favorite places to get um, some, some art prints. Comment below how much I offended you with the book ripping and how much I enjoyed the book ripping. You know, you would think that someone like me wouldn't enjoy book ripping as much, but I found, I found it so joyful. Um, <laughs> that is all I have for you today. I will see you in the next chapter. Bye.